What's going on everybody? My name is Josh Washburn of Washburn Fabco and today I'm going to show you guys a little trick for marking center line on tubing. Um, this is tubing that we're using to build some bumpers. Right now I'm working on this Dodge doing a bumper with a hitch receiver for a winch. I'm also working on another tube bumper for a Tundra and sometimes what I'll do if I have a couple of bumpers here at one time is that I'll get to the point where I'm going to start bending tube. So I'll make all the front portions, like the mounts, um, whatever you need for the winch, the skid plate. I'll get all that done and then I'll bend all the tube all at one time because it's easier that way. So that I only really have one day on the tube bender. And I'm just bending and getting all that stuff lined out. I didn't come up with this. I seen it in a video a long time ago and just wanted to share it with you guys. The reason why you would want to mark the center line is so that you can get all of your clamps to bend your tube all at the same spot. And you can also use this to like angle your notches properly. If you have your center line marked out good, you can keep a hoop with a whole bunch of bends in it on the same plane. Cause a lot of times what'll happen is you'll start to get one bend and then it'll start looking like this side to side. And your only solution in that case is to cut the tube, twist it and re-weld it, which never ends up coming out straight. And is it definitely a bit weaker and it's going to be ugly so you want to do your best to keep it all on the same plane all you're going to need is two clamps and you need two pieces of tube that are the same length to be able to mark it out all the way through i'm going to get my tube laid out and show you guys what we got going on so all you're going to do is put a vice grip on the end of two tubes together like this then you're going to take a file and run it across the top here and then you can flip it and do the same thing if you want. I'm probably just going to do it on one side. Uh, since I got it on pipe jacks, when I go to flip it, it might twist a little bit. So it might not be super accurate for the 180. Um, and I don't really need it for bending hoops. I just need to be able to see one side. As you can see, this isn't going to get you a perfect center line but it gets you a good enough center line. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Just want to make that little quick tip for you guys. If this helped you out, give me a like, drop me a comment if it did, and tell me what project you're working on. All right, we'll see you guys next time.